For decades, the skies of global commercial aviation have been ruled almost entirely by two giants, Boeing and Airbus. This duopoly has dictated the direction of aviation development for years. However, that grip is now showing signs of loosening. China has stepped forward with a bold statement of intent through its C919 aircraft, developed by Comac. What once seemed a far-off ambition is now edging closer to reality. As the C919 steadily gains traction and interest from international carriers, could this new Chinese jet truly threaten the long-standing dominance of the Western Titans, and who will be the first to bet on it? Let's take a closer look. In the highly competitive world of single-aisle, narrow-body aircraft, Boeing and Airbus have long held an unbreakable stronghold. Their aircraft, the Boeing 737 and the Airbus A320, have become the lifeline of short- and medium-haul flights globally. These models not only represent engineering excellence but have also shaped airline opera operations across the world. In response to this Western monopoly, China embarked on an ambitious effort to create its own answer to the duopoly, launching the Comac C919. Unlike past attempts, this isn't just about making an aircraft. It's about national independence, supply chain control, and establishing a permanent seat at the aviation table. The C919 is China's first domestically developed narrow-body jet, aimed squarely at competing with Boeing and Airbus. The responsibility for developing this symbol of technological ambition fell to Comac, founded in 2008 with massive support from the Chinese government. From the outset, the mission was clear. Break dependence on imported jets, develop an airliner that reflects China's manufacturing prowess, and slowly challenge Western control over the skies. Though its design was unveiled in the same year Comac was established, the aircraft didn't appear as a prototype until 2015. And even then, the road ahead was far from smooth. It took nearly 10 years of testing, redesigning, and clearing regulatory hurdles before the C919 could be considered ready. Through rigorous flight testing, performance evaluations, and technical revisions, the aircraft had to prove itself worthy of commercial service. Finally, on September 29, 2022, the C919 received type certification from the Civil Aviation Administration of China. Just three months later, China Eastern Airlines took delivery of the first C919 jet, marking the beginning of a commercial journey that may redefine the aviation industry. Though global acceptance remains a challenge, the aircraft's arrival signals something bigger. A serious new contender is entering the field. At first glance, the C919 specifications might not look revolutionary. It carries 158 to 168 passengers, with a maximum range of around 5,555 kilometers, enough to cover most regional and domestic routes in Asia, among the world's busiest markets. But these specs reflect a very targeted strategy. The jet includes advanced fly-by-wire systems, a sleek aerodynamic design, and a high-tech digital cockpit with intuitive displays. Although key systems like engines and avionics are still sourced from Western suppliers like GE and Honeywell, the aircraft is tailored for low-cost operation, something airlines desperately need amid rising costs. And that's just the beginning. What truly sets the C919 apart is the grand industrial ambition behind it. China isn't just building a new jet. It's building an entire domestic aerospace industry around it. Comac's long-term goal is to secure a third of China's narrow body market and later expand globally. Already, over 1,000 orders, mostly from domestic airlines and leasing firms, have been logged setting the foundation for mass production and cost reduction. The unexpected twist came when interest began trickling in from abroad. While few believed any foreign airline would be willing to take a risk on a first-generation Chinese jet, things took a surprising turn. Startup airline Gallup Air from Brunei shocked the industry by signing a letter of intent to purchase 30 aircraft. 
15 C919s and 15 ARJ21s rebranded as the C99. This marked the first international order, and more interest soon followed. Brazilian operator Total Linhas Arias, known for cargo and charter operations, is also considering the aircraft for its ACMI leasing model. Even more surprisingly, some Western carriers have reportedly opened quiet talks with Colmac, hinting at a wider market than expected. Among them is Michael O'Leary, CEO of Ryanair, who has openly expressed willingness to buy the C919, on one condition, that it's cheaper than Boeing and Airbus. Once unthinkable possibility, seeing a Chinese aircraft flying across European skies under the Ryanair logo now seems within reach. Timing, as always, is key. While Boeing and Airbus face massive delivery delays and post-pandemic recovery struggles, Comac is moving quickly. Airbus has already admitted it won't meet its A320neo production goals for 2025. Boeing is still battling production chaos around the 737 MAX, under the scrutiny of US regulators. That leaves many airlines stuck with back orders stretching several years, and this is where Comac steps in. Without years of backlogged orders or severe parts shortages, Comac can offer something no one else can right now. Speed, faster delivery timelines, better flexibility, and prices up to 30% lower than Boeing and Airbus, all backed by the Chinese government. But they're not just selling jets, they're building an ecosystem. From low interest financing and leasing solutions to comprehensive maintenance and training services, Comac is establishing a robust aviation support network with the power of Chinese state banks behind it. For low-cost carriers, this represents a low-risk, budget-friendly alternative at a time when margins are tight. Beyond economics, geopolitics also plays a growing role in aviation choices. China's expanding influence in the Gulf and beyond means that buying Chinese aircraft can offer more than just operational value. For countries in the GCC, it's also a diplomatic move a gateway to infrastructure investments, energy deals, and deeper economic ties with Beijing. As Western suppliers stumble and global dynamics shift, Comac's opportunity grows stronger. A third player is emerging on the global stage, one that refuses to be ignored. Still, making an aircraft is just the beginning. Comac faces its greatest challenge yet, earning the trust of the world. While the C919 may symbolize a new age in Chinese aviation, it remains absent from most international markets. Without certification from the FAA or ESA, two of the world's most influential aviation safety authorities, the C919 can't legally fly in most countries. For an aircraft seeking global adoption, that's a huge barrier. And earning these certifications won't be quick or easy. Achieving FAA or ESA approval means enduring a rigorous process of stress tests, simulations, component analysis, and tens of thousands of hours in the air. But beyond passing tests, it's about reputation. Boeing and Airbus have spent decades building trust with regulators through transparency, consistency, and technical accountability. Comac, by contrast, is a newcomer from a nation often viewed with skepticism in high-stakes industries. In aerospace, one overlooked error can cost lives. Gaining trust here isn't just hard, it's deeply political, cultural, and technical. Even if regulatory approval is achieved, Comac still has a long road ahead. Airlines don't just buy jets, they commit to a long-term support network. That means spare parts availability, certified maintenance centers, trained staff, and 24-7 technical support across time zones. Right now, Comac lacks this global infrastructure. It's a critical weakness, an attractive price. Beautiful design is meaningless. If a jet is grounded due to a software issue, unavailable component, or lack of support. Without global logistics and operations in place, airlines won't take the risk for the C919 to rise beyond its symbolic status and truly compete. Comac must do more than sell an aircraft. It must build a global foundation of trust, support, and dependability. 
Only then can China's ambitious leap into the skies become a lasting presence.